Hey guys, so in this video, I'm just going to be showing you guys how I uh, split my model up into a front and back piece and um, also how to create a key so that both pieces can fit together nicely. Um, this is generally how I do it. Uh, there are multiple ways, a hundred different ways you can do one thing. So this is basically the way that basically I I make my cuts and how I make my keys. Um, so right now, just using the slice uh, curve brush, I've just made a cut top to bottom. Um, this is in the side view. So right now I'm also just cutting out that ear piece so that um, the front piece will have that, uh, that ear piece. Um, so just splitting it up now. And what we do is we split it up and we dynamish, but we make sure we keep groups on. That way, when we dynamish, um, this earpiece and this back piece won't be uh, welded together. So once we've got the, this little earpiece and this back piece separated in their, into their polygroups and dynamished, then we split hidden. And then this earpiece we attach to the front. So we merge this earpiece with the front piece. And this time when we dynamish, we want to make sure to keep uh, groups turned off. That way when we dynamish, they'll merge together. See what we have here is that I forgot to turn the groups uh, off. So the groups are still on. So when you dynamish, then they retain their groups and um, that's not what you want. We want them to be welded together. So in this particular case, uh, make sure when you're welding these two uh, parts together, make sure to turn groups off. So as you'll see here, um, I think I still forgot to turn off groups. And then when I, when you um, see how if I uh, smooth, that it still shows that these two parts are separate. So what you want is to turn the grouping off, which you'll see in a sec, just that button there, redynamish, and then those parts will be welded. Um, so this is, this is not exactly where I would usually make the cut, but this is just basically for example, uh, this is for this is an example of how I would do it. Um, not exactly where I'd put the cuts um, usually. So right now we want to separate that cut, uh, the plane of the cut to the actual um, front piece of his helmet. So what you'll see now is using the um, masking tool, masking brush, I would set this depth I would adjust the depth so that when I brush on this um, this mask, the depth is very shallow. So it only should only get the points that are facing the camera, um, just because the depth is is lowered. Um, you do still get a little bit of uh, masking sometimes in areas you don't want, but because you've adjusted the depth of um, the brush, it does a much better job of um, masking the areas that you actually want um, that are basically facing the camera. Uh, but yeah, you'll have to go in and edit and just um, make sure to clean up that uh, that mask a little bit. But yeah, definitely uh, with this, it definitely helps. See, I'm just adjusting it a little bit more. It definitely helps. And a lot of people don't actually know about this um, this tool. It's very useful for say your H polish. Masking is very uh, useful for it. So basically, what we what we want is to mask that area uh, facing the that the basically we want, we want to mask the area that is that we made the cut from so uh yeah so just going in here and making and masking those areas out and making sure that there's no kind of um masked areas that we don't want and you'll see you'll see later uh that even if you do have some parts that are that are masked that you don't actually want um you can just delete it afterwards so right now if i once I have, once you've created that mask, you just group that mask so it becomes an extra, an extra piece of a poly group, and then you hide it and then delete your hidden. Just delete the stuff you don't want. So now that you've got that, that piece, you want to just uh, make sure to delete anything else that's that that you don't want. So I just went in there and with my selection tool and just um, selected the parts that I actually wanted and deleted the deleted the hidden. And right now I'm just a um, going in and um, uh, just polish by features just to get a nice um, 
just to get this, to make sure there's no jaggies on the edges, just so we can create a nice um, Z remeshed model. So once you've done that, this piece here, you want to just halve it. And then delete hidden. That way you get half, you get half of that, um, that cut area. And then you just go in and Z remesh and just make sure to um, polish by features just to get rid of all the jaggies. And now here you want to also, um, you want to also want to retain the hard corners. So as you can see, I'm going in and masking the corners out. Just so when you, you mask these corners so that when you polish by features, it won't smooth those areas out, those hard corners out. So right now I've polished by features. Now you've got a nice smooth kind of, um, uh, nice smooth topology and the, corn the corners, uh, they remain hard so that, um, because they were masked out. And now once you've got that, all you need to do is basically create a, an extrude. So with my Xeria Mesher, go in and grab a poly, set it to extrude, extrude all polygons, and you just want to extrude it outward. Um, so how how far out depends, I just basically do it by eye. Um, in some cases, if you're using uh, magnets, say like one centimeter magnets, you want to extrude it out quite a bit more. But in this case, just for example sake, I'm just going to create a key without magnets. So just extruding it out. And then um, what you need to do after you've extruded it out, you need to actually push it in a little bit more as well, just so that when you dyna mesh the, this, this piece with the front piece that it makes sure that it's all merged together. Because sometimes if you don't push it into the, the mesh a little bit, into the front piece a little bit, um, and you dyna mesh, sometimes it won't um, merge properly. It won't weld properly. So recite this here, just pushing in a little bit, just a tiny bit. Um, and now basically I just duplicate it and then I see what it looks like from um, into the back piece. So as a Boolean mesh. So you have these parts that stick, that are still like not getting to Boolean by that piece. So what you need to do is grab the outer half of the piece. So just slowly going in and grabbing that outer half with um, the mask brush, mask lasso brush. Just going in and just selecting that outer edge. Just like that. And then you would invert the mask. And then with um, live Boolean turned on, so you see what it looks like with the Boolean, uh, you just want to push those points out so that it's actually Boolean it's actually bullying ing. <laughs> That's a hard word to say. It's actually bullying the um, the the back piece. You see at the top there, it's still some pieces hanging off. So you just basically grab grab those outer edges and just um, push them inward, so that it's actually bullying the back piece completely. Once you've done that, duplicate that again, and then uh, you want to delete that first piece that you made, that first back piece, that, that first um, key piece that you made. Because since we um, edited it, you want because you want both sides to be exactly the same. So you just want to go in and delete. And now here I'm noticing some, um, just a little bit messy, just on the sides here, even like with a, even smoothing it out, it gets a bit messy. And that's, that happened because of, because of the extrude and the way the, um, the polygons were facing when you extruded, it kind of extruded in a weird way. So you just need to go in there and just try to fix it up. Uh, I think what I did was just DynaMesh and then just smooth it up with a, with H polish. So as you can see now, I'm just trying to figure out how, what's the best way to kind of get rid of this um, janky bit.
so I tried a, diff a few different methods and I think what I just, yeah, what I ended up with is just going in there, dynamishing it and then just smoothing it out with age polish. So yeah, just dynamished it and then smoothing out a little bit. I mean, it's not, this part's not exactly that important, but just to keep things a bit cleaner. Yeah, I just um, go in and just make sure those parts are just smoothed out a little bit. And then again, because we adjusted the this key piece, we'll delete the old ones and then um, duplicate that new piece that we edited so that both sides, the front and the back piece, have the same key, um, the key piece that will fit in nicely together. So you merge this down, the front piece is merged down with the key piece, and then we just um, basically dynamish, that's the easy one. And the other piece, the back piece, has to be boolean. So this is done nice and um, dynamished as one piece with the key in there. And then the back piece now, what you have to do is, so that's not the back piece without the key, and that's the back piece with the key boolean. And so what we need to do is make boolean mesh. And so that would, basically boolean that key piece with the back piece. And so there you have it.